Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2005 American action horror film called Constantine. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. Our story begins with a message. He who possesses the Spear of Destiny holds the fate of the world in his hands. Somewhere in Mexico, a man scavenging finds a large dagger wrapped in a Nazi flag. Something comes over him and he walks onto the road and a car hits him. The car is almost cut in half. After the dust clears, he stands up and runs away. Hmm, I think he found the Spear of Destiny. In Los Angeles, we see an Asian woman making a cup of tea. She takes it to her daughter and screams when she sees her daughter crawling on the ceiling. Now, we see a man called John Constantine getting out of a yellow taxi outside of some apartments. The driver, called Chaz, waits in the taxi. Inside the building, a priest called Father Hennessy tells John he's found one. John goes upstairs to the apartment and finds a young girl who is possessed, tied down to a bed. He opens a curtain to let in the sun and she pulls away. When he finds the right token, she screams. He stands over her and she recites an incantation, then presses the token onto her forehead. She kicks and convulses, then lays still. When John leans closer, she lifts up and a strange demon projects from her throat. He punches it and she lies still again. John breaks the glass from the window and faces the bed to the opening. Some men bring in a large mirror and hold it above the girl. He tells them not to look, but one man accidentally looks and his hair turns white. He talks to the demon and it leaves the girl and appears in the mirror above. After some struggling, the mirror drops to the ground below, killing the demon. The girl is now at peace. As John and the priest leave the apartment, someone is watching from the stairs above. John tells Hennessy that the exorcism wasn't right. He removes an amulet from Hennessy's neck and tells him to leave it off for a few days. Outside, Chaz is straightening the back of his taxi because part of the mirror hit it. Chaz drives John back to his apartment. Now we see a woman named Angela Dobson in church giving her confession. She confesses to killing another man. It seems she is a policewoman. Now she enters her apartment and goes to bed. She hears the name Isabel and she wakes, but she's in a hospital bed. She runs up the stairs to the rooftop and stands at the edge, removing the name tag which shows Isabel Dobson. She falls from the roof and crashes through the glass into a pool. Suddenly, she wakes up in a fright. It was a dream and she's back in her apartment. Now, John is in his bathroom coughing up blood. At the hospital, he's looking at his chest x-rays showing cancer. The cigarettes are killing him. Angela arrives at a crime scene and her partner, Detective Wise, tells her not to look. When she looks at the body, it's her twin sister, Isabel, the one from the dream. Weiss tells Angela she jumped, but Angela says she wouldn't have killed herself. When Angela asks to hold the elevator, John says no. Back in Mexico, we see the scavenger man leap over a high fence, maybe the border fence, and walk down a track as cattle in the field just drop as if they've been killed. A man enters John's apartment with a bag full of goodies. Things like holy water, a screech beetle, a dragon's breath flamethrower, and some cough medicine. Chaz drives John in the rain to a church library to see someone, but Angela arrives and stands next to John. She wants to speak to Father David about her sister having a Catholic funeral. John speaks with Gabriel, the angel, about entering heaven when he dies. Neither of them get what they want. Now we see Hennessy looking for stories of anything unusual. He finds the article about Isabel falling from the roof. Angela is looking at security camera footage of her sister on the roof before she falls. Then she writes down the name, Constantine. Her phone starts ringing, but no one is there when she answers. John walks out of a shop and a crow flies by. Then he starts coughing at the gutter. A crab crawls over his hand and a strange creature made of crabs, snakes, and cockroaches attacks John. They fight, but then a car hits the creature and it's gone. John enters a bar called Midnight's, but Chaz can't get in. John talks to Midnight for help, but he won't help John. One of Satan's followers named Balthazar tells John he's on the way down soon. John starts coughing and leaves the club. Back in John's apartment, Angela arrives and tells John that her sister didn't commit suicide and she wants his help, but he points her to the door. After she leaves, John sees many dark shapes flying past his windows. He hurries downstairs and finds Angela. Suddenly, all the streetlights go out and they hear a loud rushing of wind. John walks her across the street to a shop with a statue of the Virgin Mary. He lights a fire and suddenly she can see demons in the air. When he throws the fire on the ground, the demons disappear and the streetlights come back on. He asks her if she believes Isabel didn't commit suicide. He tells her he'll see her if she's in hell. In Angela's apartment, John holds Isabel's cat, then puts his feet in a bowl of water, then tells Angela to leave the apartment. As she closes the door, John looks at the cat and the water starts to bubble. Suddenly, John is in hell. He sees Isabel and starts running towards her while demons come after him. 
As she pulls the hospital tag from her wrist and falls again, he jumps and grabs the tag, then reappears in the apartment. He tells Angela that Isabel committed suicide. Hennessy goes to the morgue to see Isabel's body. When he holds her wrist, he sees a symbol burned into her wrist, then he drops to the ground. He rushes to a liquor store, but every bottle he opens doesn't pour out any liquid. Baltazar enters the shop and watches with pleasure as Hennessy keeps trying to drink. Finally, Hennessy falls to the floor. He grabs a corkscrew and carves a symbol into his hand, calling to John before he dies. Now, John and Angela are eating at an outdoor diner, and John is telling Angela about his life and how he could always see demons. He had committed suicide and was dead for two minutes before he was brought back to life. In those two minutes, he got a glimpse of hell. Angela tells John that Isabel saw terrible things when she was young, but her family thought she was crazy. Angela gets a call about Hennessy, so they go to see. Wise tells Angela that Hennessy drank himself to death in under a minute. John finds a symbol in Hennessy's hand and calls Beeman for help. They go to Isabel's room at the hospital to look for a clue. Angela breathes on the glass and finds a message left by Isabel, Core 17, Corinthians 17, which can be found in the Bible of hell. On their way to Beeman's place in the back of a bowling alley, Beeman calls them and tells John that Mammon, the devil's son, wants to forge his own kingdom of fire and blood, but would need divine help. As Beeman is talking, he hears close by. The phone call gets cut off. When they arrive, they find Beeman dead in his chair and covered in flies. We see the scavenger man approaching a parked truck with a man inside. Now we see the truck racing down the road with the scavenger man driving. Back in Los Angeles, Angela enters John's apartment and tells him that she needs to see what Angela saw. She tells him that when she and Isabel were young, she used to see things too, but she denied it till one day she stopped seeing them. He agrees to show her the other side. John holds her down in a bathtub of water, but soon after, Angela panics and tries to get out, but he won't let her. Finally, the side of the bathtub breaks away and she falls onto the floor. Now she has seen what hell looks like. So many lost souls. Suddenly, she realizes that someone was there. She hurries back to Beeman's desk and picks up a coin that belongs to Baltazar. John builds a weapon to kill Baltazar. They drive to Baltazar's building. John gives Angela Hennessy's amulet and tells her to stay in the car. John shoots Baltazar through a mirror, but it's only the start of the fight. Angela gets out of the car to help John, but she leaves the amulet behind. Baltazar tells John the Spear of Destiny will give birth to Mammon, the son of the devil. Angela appears, then John shoots Baltazar, and they walk away together. Someone is standing over the remains of Baltazar, and he tells them he has delivered the girl. But they have no further use for Baltazar, and his remains are blown away. John realizes Angela's not wearing the amulet. Suddenly, Angela's pulled backwards through the walls with John chasing her. Finally, she is pulled out of the building and up into the sky. John and Chaz go to see Midnight. John blasts his way in the Midnight's office, and after some disagreements, Midnight lets John use the chair. It was used in Sing Sing Prison for electrocuting more than 200 people. John sits in the chair, and when Midnight electrocutes him, he can see the scavenger man who found the spear. Midnight pulls him back. Now, Chaz is making special bullets from Catholic gold. Midnight gives Chaz an enchanted cross, then prays over him and John as they leave. Now, we see Angela falling into the same pool that her sister fell into. The scavenger man rises in the pool and approaches Angela. She shoots him, but the bullets go straight through. As John and Chaz enter the building, Chaz takes the enchanted cross and puts it into the building's fire sprinkler water tank. Meanwhile, John enters a room full of half-breed demons and sets off the fire sprinklers, burning them all. As they come at him, he blasts them with golden bullets. Chaz shoots the last one. In the pool, the scavenger man holds Angela under the water till she enters hell. The demons swarm around her and Mammon calls her name. John enters the pool and finds the body of the scavenger man. Suddenly, Angela rises from the water looking like she's possessed and she pushes John under the water too. Chaz pulls her up and the two of them pull her out of the pool and she comes back to normal, but there's still a demon inside her. John and Chaz chant incantations and the demon leaves her. But now the demon has entered Chaz. Chaz dies and John calls upon the wicked one. Gabriel appears and stands on John's chest, telling him she will make him worthy to enter God's kingdom. Then she blows him across the room. John calls on God for help. He picks up some broken glass and cuts his wrist. As Gabriel is about to release Mammon from Angela with the Spear of Destiny, time stops and Satan appears in front of John. He's been waiting a long time for John. John tells Satan that Gabriel is about to release Mammon with the Spear of Destiny. Satan walks into the other room and lifts Angela off the floor before Gabriel can stab her. We see Mammon struggling in the reflection of the tiles. Gabriel tries to hit Satan, but her hand stops short. God will not help her. Satan sends Mammon back to hell, 
then burns the wings from Gabriel before she flies backwards into the pool. John tells Satan he wants Isabel released so she can go to heaven. Satan agrees, but when he tries to take John, he can't. God intervenes because John sacrificed his life for another. As John is being lifted to heaven, he gives Satan the bird. But Satan grabs John from behind and tells John he will go on living. Satan reaches in and removes the cancers from John's body. As John stands up, he finds he is healed, and he goes to Angela, who is also conscious again. John takes the Spear of Destiny. Just then, Gabriel stands up in the pool, no longer with wings. Now she is human. She tells John he should kill her, but instead, he hits her hard in the face and tells her that's what pain feels like. John and Angela turn and walk away. Now we see John and Angela standing on a rooftop. John gives her the Spear of Destiny and tells her to hide it where no one will ever find it. She tells him she'll see him around. She turns and walks away. He reaches into his pocket for something, then puts a piece of gum in his mouth. At least it's not a cigarette this time. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.